let's understand the types of capital assets capital assets basically are classified into two categories short term capital assets and long term capital assets now the reason why these assets are classified into short term and long term is that you know the rates of taxes is generally high in case of short term capital gains and low in case of long term capital gain so therefore it becomes very important for us to see whether the capital gains arising from transfer are short term capital gains or long term capital gains and that depends on whether the capital asset is a short term capital asset or a long term capital asset so let's first understand what is the meaning of a short term capital asset capital assets held by an assessee for not more than 36 months immediately preceding the date of transfer so let's say for example i acquire an asset on 14209 if i continue to own it for more than 36 months right then it is a long term capital asset right but if i do not own it for more than 36 months then it is a short term capital asset right but this general rule is applicable on all capital assets except the one mentioned below which is this for which period is 12 months so in case of these four assets which i have just pointed out here if you own it for more than 12 months it is a long term capital asset if you own it for less than uh, 12 months then it is a short term capital asset and what are these four assets first is equity stroke preference shares in a company second any listed securities which will mean your equity shares or preference share or debenture whatever it kind be if it's listed third units of unit trust of india or notified mutual funds and fourth zero coupon bonds so if either of these are held for more than 12 months then it is a long term capital asset else it's a short term capital asset and what i discussed now is also clear from the fact that the long term capital asset is a capital asset which is other than a short term capital asset means what means if you own it for more than 36 months it's a long term capital asset in case of these four capital assets if you own it for more than 12 months it's a long term capital asset right again just to summarize what we discussed an asset can be a long term capital asset or a short term capital asset short term capital asset if it is held for not more than 36 months preceding the date of transfer that's a technical word simply speaking we can say if it is more than 36 months it's a long term capital asset for specified one if it is more than 12 months it's a long term capital asset otherwise it's a short term capital asset the reason for bifurcating them between the two is the rates of capital gains tax are more in case of short term and less in case of long term this is a general thing i mean in the sense there can be changes as well it's not necessary that always because in some cases if it is exempt then it doesn't make a difference 